Today I'll be giving a complete and total breakdown of the costs of making a zine. Let's get into it. If you didn't know already, I am releasing my very first zine. It is a collection of 50 images, London in love. I want you to give a complete and transparent cost breakdown. Okay, so first of all, test prints. It's far easier to visualize the sequence that way. So I decided to do that myself. I bought some cheap prints, bought 50 of them. They cost about 12 pounds. Um, Lightroom makes badge editing really simple. So that's what I use. That costs 10 pounds a month in design, but I just use the free seven day trial. You know, I wanted to get a hard copy proof, you know, just one copy. The last thing I wanted to do is order 50 copies of a zine and then realize that it, re and realize that the design looked like crap. And that cost 56 pounds for 50 copies of the zine, you know, based on the specs of my zine. It costs in total 164 pounds, meaning three pounds 28 per copy. I don't know if that's high, I don't know if that's low, because I've never done this before, so I have nothing to compare this with. Then of course, you're gonna need someone to sell it. Where are you gonna sell it? So of course I need to get a website subscription. I, I've used Squarespace in the past, um, and they charge about 15 pounds a month for the e-commerce plan. You can get cheaper ones, but then you won't be able to put products on your website. But in order to get that £15 a month, you have to pay 12 months up front in order to get that price. Otherwise, it's £20 a month if you pay by the month. So if you, you know, if you think about this from a, an accounting point of view, your cash flow is actually down £180 for the month. But um, in your profit and loss, your income statement, you would put down £15. In terms of packaging, I just found some standard generic um, A5 mailers because uh, the zine itself is going to be about A5 sized, 28 pounds for 100. So let's assume I've sold um, all 50 copies of the zine. Um, I haven't. Um, I've sold about, I think, 16. Hopefully, hopefully, after this video, we'll get more orders. Um, but yeah, how would I budget for, you know, the shipping costs I've got some you know some customers in the uk i've got some customers in australia i've got some customers in in the usa i've got some customers in germany um i just assumed that 50 percent of the customers would be from the uk and then 50 customers would be from abroad and i just found two prices um from royal mail they tend to have the the cheapest price and since i'm not sort of doing huge orders i'm just doing 50 orders i don't enjoy any sort of discounted prices that you would get from doing bulk orders. So for the UK, you know, the best price I could find for the the parcel that I will be sending out is £3.40, which is kind of expensive. And the reason why I've gone for the more expensive one is because this is the cheapest delivery service with tracking. I've done plenty of online selling to know that it's just, it's always just worth it to have tracking. And you know, the last thing I want for you guys is to, it's for you guys to not get your, to not get your zine. The international orders you know, for, for the, for Australia, it costs about 14 pounds. Uh, the USA, it's about 12 pounds. And then uh, Germany, Europe, France, all there, it's about eight to 10 pounds. You know, but I thought that was way too much to charge you guys. So, you know, for you international people, I've set a flat rate of eight pounds. And then I've set a five pound flat rate for UK people. I'm, I mean, I'm hitting a bit of a loss there, but I just, I thought I would incur most of the shipping um, cost there. This all took time, this all took man hours, this took labor hours. This is a unionized operation here up in Zane Reza Photo. You know, I wanted to see how much it cost me in terms of my labor. What's the word? I charged myself um, an hourly rate um, about minimum wage. And at the moment in the UK, the minimum wage in London is about eight pounds. So firstly, curating the 50 images, file organization, you know, putting it all together, um, and then re-editing all 50 images. Because as I said before, this collection was shot over you know 18 months and when it came to putting the collection together it takes time to even find the files because you know you're, you have to 
sort through thousands of images, different hard drives, um, you know, clicking through folders, trying to find the right images. Um, you know, if you haven't done that before, you know, if you if you don't do that beforehand, it's always better to overestimate than to underestimate. So I um, I charged myself eight hours for that. Then it came to sequencing it five hours and also eight hours for the design of the zine itself. Fulfilling the orders themselves. I don't have some Amazon robot um, <laughs> fulfilling the orders. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna require someone to package the orders, to print the labels, to go to the post office, queue in line, and then actually mail the orders out. For 50 orders, I thought maybe it'll take about three hours in total. How much money am I down? The total cost labor and parts in total is 1037 pounds which means which equates to each zine cost 20 pounds 74 pence how much revenue would i make then so if i so i've ordered 50 copies so 50 times 22 equals 1100 great british pounds i thank you very much leaving us with a gross cash flow of 63 pounds i know you're, you're probably thinking oh is that not profit profit and cash two different things guys i'm 63 pounds up after selling 50 copies 63 pounds meaning one pound 26 pence on each zine making the zine was never going to make money like i knew it wasn't going to but the reason why i wanted to do it is because one the challenge but two i just felt like creating a physical product a physical copy of your work is just like it's a it's a must for any photographer now if you made it this far you know here's some a little bonus tidbit a little something to make you think oh shit this collection is also being sold as an nft collection and the funny thing is that the nft collection was just was just uh, an experiment so if we take into account nine and a half hours in terms of labor you know there's no packaging involved there's no postage involved but i sold all 50 nfts in one day by the way it was one day and i made one eth so three thousand eight hundred us dollars minus a hundred US dollars is how much I is how much I've made from the NFTs like and the amount of work that went into the zine I'm bait I'm making this I'm ba I'm basically making nothing with the zines but then the amount of work that went into the, the NFTs and the, and then the amount of money I'm making there like from us like it's just do, am I saying that NFTs are better? Am I saying that digital art is better? No, I'm not. If we want to talk about how it feels to hold a physical print and, and compared to enjoying a digital piece of art, like those are that's a completely different conversation. In terms of like a purely business decision, you know, in terms of scalability, because if I were to scale this business, if I were so let's say, you know, in the future I you know I, I made a hundred orders for the zine the cost per unit would go down slightly but there would still be a lot more work involved because you know, then i would have to start thinking about fulfillment services i have to think about other things like costs still go up but if i were to increase my my nfts to 100 rather than 50 my cost will say zero but my revenue would go up exponentially like from a business standpoint nfts are extremely compelling just to let you know tomorrow will be the last day to get your pre-orders in and have your name printed in the zine. Um, after that, the design will be finalized, sent off to the printers, and then shipped off to all of you guys. So if you wanna get a pre-order, get your name in the zine, tomorrow is your last chance. If you'd like to support the channel and help me make 63 whole pounds, if you wanna, yeah, if you wanna get a copy of the zine, link is in the description. Follow me at Zane Reads the Photo so you don't miss anything. I post daily reels. And if you wanna check out the collection on OpenSea, link is also in the description with all that said and done boys and girls keep learning keep shooting i'll see you all in the next one peace